Uh, hey everybody, final thoughts time for Fidelis. Or, um, yeah, Fidelitas, Fidelitas. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can tell, I am literally dripping in sweat. It is so hot and humid here today. I apologize for if I made a, an inordinate number of mistakes during a run through of this because this is a really simple game. It should not really um, cause me so much uh, AP, but uh, just so hot in here. I am, I am just, I'm a hot mess. Um, but the game itself is very cool. How's that for a nice segue? I mean, we like it a lot. It's lovely. I mean, this art is just gorgeous. This is Disney quality art. Um, you know, Disney feature film quality art just absolutely gobsmacked me. Just, it's a lovely sight to behold. And the game itself, you know, I guess, yeah, one could complain that there is a fair bit of, of swingy luck. Um, you know, luck at the draw, the missions you get, and, um, you know, luck if things just happen to go your way, or, but who cares? This game is over so quick, easily less than half an hour, and it's so much fun along the way. This is definitely a game that is all about the, the journey, not the destination, because it is just fun. You know, setting up your plans, trying to build, and, um, you know, this is one of those rare games that, you know, Jen and I, we're very anti-conflict games. We always try to avoid ones where we, where the game actively encourages you to tear off, down the plans of another player, but in this game, we don't mind at all. Uh, it's it's just so fast and fluid and fun, and you know nothing is permanent. Nothing really has any kind of sense of of stability. You know we never really feel like our our, our plans are always just on you know the precipice on the edge. So it never really feels quite that bad when. You know, or, or, or I should say, we never get frustrated. I mean, I, 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 and this isn't the first time, I spent the better part of a game trying to complete one objective and it constantly gets torn back down. But it's not like I'm like, ah, I'm pulling my teeth, you know, because it's, it's, it's okay. The game is just so fun and light and breezy and silly and um, you can't have much of an expectation. This is not a strategy game at all. This is pure tactics. All right, well, this is what the situation is now. What am I gonna do? Now, with only two players, you can do a little bit. You can bluff, you can um, try Try not to put all your eggs in one basket and try not to make it too obvious what you're trying to go for so that you can have a big surprise. That's definitely true, but I mean the reality is with, um, I, I, would, I, I don't know, I've only ever played with two, but I would expect with more things get a little bit tougher. It's a bit tougher actually trying to bluff or play mind games. You just do the best you can with what's in front of you and what's in your hand. But to a certain extent that's okay because the world is in such a constant state of flux. Everybody's pursuing their own agendas and you know it's, in, it's invariable that somebody else will do something that helps you. you know, and that makes up for the fact that you have less control yourself. At least that would be my assumption. In a two player game, you have a bit of control. You can make plans. You can play strategically. With more players, you play tactically, but you know. I mean, if you can figure out what else somebody's trying to do, you can figure out if what they're doing is going to help you so that you can focus on something else. Neat game. Very clever. From two very good designers. Uh, Phil DuBerry. He's actually done quite a few games now. He's definitely a designer on the rise because they all are good, solid games. But the interesting thing is I've always found, you know, I mean, as much as we want to like this game, Kingdom of Solomon and, um, oh, let's see, one of, the, one of the Tempest games from AEG. I forget which one because they're all kind of, you know, they're all from the same series, so they're kind of similar names. But... And we always like his games. We always think they're very sound mechanically, but they're never very good two-player, we always find. We're we always kind of lacking. And I was worried about that coming into this. And I think, to a certain extent, I'm guessing here, that's where the other designer, Jason Katarski, comes in. Because Jason was the designer on an excellent game, Great Heartland Hauling Company, which Jen and I love. Je Great Heartland Hauling Company is one of the very, very few pickup and deliverer games that Jen and I enjoy. And it's a great, great game. So, Jason plus Phil make something great. They have produced a beautiful, fun, fast playing filler that I can't imagine anybody wouldn't enjoy. Just a hoot. And you know what? I'm just going to stop right there. I don't think there's really much more else to say. And oh my gosh, I am just about to collapse here. I stink so much. I so need to take a shower. Uh, I'm just going to stop right there um, and you know, let you know the, you know, the links to the show notes are on the screen. You can, uh, or, I'm sorry, the links to the Kickstarter page are on the screen and in the show notes. And you can go learn more about the game if you'd like. I recommend it. Jen recommends it. It's a hoot. And that's it, folks. That's Fidelitas. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, questions, comments, concerns, as always, let me know. Apologies if I was a little bit more loopy than normal and I missed some, I made some really bonehead moves and et cetera, et cetera. But did I mention it's hot and humid in here? Okay, folks. That's it. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.